Hello all you amazing YouTubers and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Let's Learn the Mods. Today we're going to be learning about a basic, basic, basic ME system. Like, as basic as you can get it. So, let's get started on making a basic ME system. As I said in episode 1, this is a controller and you can provide power through there. You also have the option of providing power through different means, which would be the energy acceptor. Let's see. We have the energy acceptor somewhere. Do 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 do. Oh, we'll need. Oh, we have one of those. Okay. So energy acceptor. I'm gonna have to type it in. It'll lag, but don't really have a choice. Okay. Energy acceptor. Cool. So what does this do? Well, this actually allows you to provide power at a different point where the controller is not. So let's say like this is like 5 billion blocks away from the controller and I've just so happened to run wire 5 billion blocks away from this, but I don't want to run power lines 5 billion blocks. Well, all I'd have to do is hook this up over here, throw down a power source, and we can get rid of this to kind of demonstrate it. As you can see, this is still powered. Yay! Power! Another thing to that's different from AE1 is the fact that you can have multiple controllers. Well, after that, you run into different issues. Uh, I'll explain that in another episode. See? But this also doesn't work, so... Well, because we have... We're running into the issue that I can't really discuss. And as you can see, you need to kind of, like, one one giant pillar, but it can't be bigger, if that makes sense to you. So, about that size, I think, is your limit. Okay. Alright, either that or it's power. I, I don't know off the top of my head. Okay, so moving on, let's get into the basic terminals as well as our ME drive-in chest. So, for the basic, basic terminals, we want to get... Not you. No. Yes, interface terminal. A storage monitor. And I think, yeah, ME terminal. Okay, so what these four are for is basically to access your system or different aspects of the system. So we have our basic interface, ter not interface terminal, ME terminal right here. As you can see, this is just basic storage from AE1. You, you can put stuff in, take stuff out. Unfortunately, we don't have anything hooked up right now that can accept the storage, so we're kind of just hanging in the limbo on that one, so we can't put anything in. So we have a crafting terminal next, which is basically, you can access it, put stuff in, take stuff out, but you can also craft with the stuff inside the system or whatever's on your inventory. So that's very convenient. Next, we have an interface terminal. What this interface terminal is for is it allows you to kind of view any in ME interfaces on the system, which are used for kind of like request things. So if you need to request something specific, you can actually kind of monitor monitor the crafting the interfaces from this one. And then we have a storage monitor, which is basically that. You, you can monitor whatever item is in the system. All right. I think there was one more. Pattern terminal. That's right. Yes, this one's awesome. Now, you remember that if you ever worked with AE1, there was like this really random standalone block. Like it wasn't, it's not this, but it wasn't connected to the system. It'd just kind of be there. You'd go over, click on it, bring some stuff over, craft the pattern, and then make the pattern and run it over to your, your thing. Well, now it's actually attached to the ME system. So you can hold your patterns there, you make the patterns here, and then you can just encode it from here, which is awesome. You no longer have to go between that lame block and your ME system. So yay for that. Hooray. All right. So moving on. Let's move on to the ME chest and ME drive. If you're new to applied energistics, these things, um, this is what makes it so amazing. It, 
well, this stuff right here. This is part of why it's so amazing. And if you've ever used it, applied to Energy 6, you probably know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have right here 64K storage drives. Now, you, ha you have an option of a 64K, a 16K, a 4K, and a 1K. The, the K basically means how many bytes you have available. It, in actuality, this is 65,536 bytes, 16,384, and each item takes up a specific amount of bytes. And each thing ha can only have up to 63 types of items on them. So as you can see, we have 0 of 63 types and 0 of 65,536 bytes used. So I just put a thingamabob in here, a storage cell. So let's go over here and kind of like toss some stuff in here. Whoops. Come on. Organize. Oh, wait. We don't have the that mod in here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a ton of wood and just make it daytime. All right. So what I'm going to do from here is toss all this in here. And we'll demonstrate the crafting terminal in a second also. Uh, I want to hold on to these. Okay, so let's... Darn it! Okay, so that can go. And let's get more wood. Let's get, like, some of that. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, and then toss all of that in there. Cool! Alright, so let's go check out what we have in here. Okay, so come over here. As you can see, we have two of 63 types of items and 144 of 65,536 bytes used. So to kind of like, let's say we wanted to take this out. Oh no, we lost everything. No, just kidding. We can actually carry this around with us and blah, blah, blah. We can't access it. But what we can do is toss it in here if we wanted to or vice versa and come over here. And as you can see, it's still on the system. And if I came over here and took it out, and we looked in here, nothing's on the system, and we can't put anything out or take anything, take anything from it because there's no thing in here. But if you, sh yeah, so that's how the basic kind of storage cells work. So let's put a storage cell in. In fact, let's put like two. Uh, let's put ten in. If I can find it. And you don't have to use nothing but 64Ks, and you don't have to use nothing but 1Ks. It's really up to you. So, like, I could do this, 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 and then toss whatever I want in here. And then I can also toss one in over here. And then I can, like, put down another, like, ME drive and toss a bunch of, like, storage cells in there. So, it, it's really 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 handy and as you can see we have green lights here but the green light means is it's ready to accept any type of item or and it's not full of um, items specifically now if it turns orange that means you're full on the types of items and if it turns red it means that you've completely used up all the space on the ME drive and you can no longer put stuff in okay so let's move on Actually, I just wanted to cover one more thing this episode. So, as you can see, we can actually access the ME chest from here, and we're going to toss all this stuff in here. And if we come over here... Oh! Amazing! It's it's all in there! Yay! But unfortunately, you can't access everything from the ME drives, but hey, it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, so that covered all, like, I wanted to cover this episode... Next episode, I am going to kind of explain what's going on over here. This is something crazy. I hope you all are ready for this cray-cray stuff. Alright, thanks all for watching. I'll see you all later.